Good morning, lower elementary kids. Mr. John here. We're going to play a game, and uh, I'm going to draw something. And while you're watching the video, you can say the name of what I'm drawing. Okay? So I'm at an odd angle, so it might not be the prettiest, but if you're at home, tell me what this is. What is this thing called? Starts with the letter S. And there are five of them. What is this thing? What is it? I'm going to draw this here to make it look neater. This is called a bar line. That's not what I was asking for. This right here is called a staff. Okay, S-T-A-F-F. -F. Hope you can see that. Staff, that's not a U, it's an A. Staff, okay? And there's five of them, okay? Before I go any farther, um, everyone take their hand and let's practice counting our fingers. Now you can either start here with the low finger or this finger, but you have to decide which one is gonna represent the lowest note. There's not a right or wrong with this. This is a, a tool to help you get faster at recognizing notes. So this is number one or this is number one. I'm going to choose this number one is because it's easy for me to hold my hand up in this position and you can see it. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a number for each one of these lines. So this is going to be number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay? You guys got that? This is number one. Number two is this one. Number three is right in the middle. Now, I want you kids to practice recognizing quickly which one is in the middle. Now, when I was learning how to read music, I, this was kind of like a bunch of confusion. I didn't recognize that each line was somewhere in relationship to another. So I get these middle ones confused. Like, but practice looking at the middle. This is the middle one. This is the middle nine. Number three, all right? With practice, you get better. So I'm going to draw another thing here. This time I'm going to draw this thing. Okay. Now, it's not a very good one but it's called a clef, okay? There are many different types of clefs. But I want you to know that this is called a G clef. And the reason it's called a G clef is because the, this right here, the, this, um, this line in the middle of this circle and this line go here, encompasses the second line, line number two. And nine, line number two would be this finger, and that happens to be a G, okay? So down the road, maybe we've got some bass players, bump, 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 they slap the bass, or some violist, that's a big violin, but not as big as a cello, and you'll play a different type of clef. Most people know how to read this first, and then the other cleft is just easy because they already got the hang of this one. So this right here is the second line. Also practice looking for the third line, and then there's one above the third line, the fourth. And remember, each one of those lines is our fingers because we're going to use this down here. Okay? So our assignment from last week was to recognize which notes were lines and spaces, okay? 
The very first note we had of this of the you better sing was this note. Okay? Now you see how there's a line going through the center? If the line goes through the center, it's called a line. Okay? Now, the quicker you get at recognizing this stuff, the easier it's going to be for you to learn the next step. If you don't practice the first step, the next step is going to be even harder. So, if you like music, no matter what you do in music, eventually this stuff is going to be important. You might not have to be fast at it or a virtuoso, but to understand it, you can apply it in other areas. So the line goes through the center, okay? So just so you know that this alternates. So if we got our hand, the five fingers, we have spaces in between our fingers. Spaces, okay? And we have five of them. So if you know, it's going to be, it's going to alternate. Line, all of our fingers are lines and all the spaces it might help to do this just put sweep your finger in between it sometimes movement and understanding helps cement our memory so we got first space first space is right here you see that so if this is first space this would be second space that would be in between these two fingers. Third space would be in between these fingers. And fourth space would be in between these fingers. So, we got the five lines and we have the four spaces. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write the four spaces here. This is number one. We, start, we always start from the bottom. We start from low and go to high. Now keep in mind, this is just a tool to help you learn how to read music. So, these are the four spaces on the staff. Now, there are spaces above it, like one right here. See this? It looks like a drop of water. Okay? See that? It should be, they should, if you're a good music teacher, if you're a great music teacher, you should be able to make all your notes about the same size. And I got a lot to learn, so I'm, I'm practicing. It's also a weird angle. So, so this is a line space, okay? Same with on top. We got this fifth line, you know, our top finger, right above there. That's also going to be a space, okay? So it always alternates, line, space, line, space. And when you get really good at it, you'll be able to recognize chords because chords are stacked on top of each other. So that's a space right there, okay? So this is also a space. If this is a space, this note and this note would be lines, okay? So I, this is just a primer so if you have not done last week's assignment, you can stop this right here and go back to last week's assignment and answer the question line space. Now the, the, the very, the second to last note of the song was difficult, okay? So the reason it was so difficult is because it was a whole bunch of ledger lines below the staff. So we have, these are called ledger lines. And what that means is the notes go on forever up. Now they, when you go this way, they go up so high that you can't hear them. And then when they go this way, they go down so low that it turns into beats like boom, 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 boom. So, if you take a, a beat, like a bass drum, boom, 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 and you speed it up super fast, it'll eventually turn into a vibration that you'll recognize as a pitch. So these lines go down forever, and these lines go up forever. But with because we're humans and not dogs, 
Dogs can hear stuff up even higher that we can't. That's just the nature of the how they survived in uh, the wild before they became dom domesticated. But we can hear in this area, and this is the area that's fun. Everyone agree that music's fun? So right now, just know that these notes go lower and higher, and these are called ledger lines. That's not so important that you know what that means, that you, but you need to know that it continues. Okay, so if this is a line and this is a line, right below here, that would be a what? A space, correct. All right, so this is the end of our assignment, last week's assignment. So that was a really difficult for some kids. Several kids have gotten it correct. So now we're going to go on to no reading. All right. So just so you know that this right here is, I give you the answer right here. So if you want to try to do the notes instead of the line spaces, the notes below the staff are C and then this one note above C is D. So if you remember, we have seven notes. And then once you get to G, it repeats. So it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and then it just goes on and on. Now when you go from high to low, it go, the alphabet goes backwards, all right? So this is things that you need to understand intellectually and with practice, you'll get faster at it. But if you don't understand the basics of it, you're going to be kind of lost. So it's important to know what you don't understand so you can ask good questions. All right? All right. So getting back to our hand, okay? I'm going to just randomly put a note on the screen, okay? So your very first question you should ask yourself is this a line or a space? Okay, it's a what? Is there a line going through the center? No. There's a line on top and below, so that's a space. Okay, so how many spaces from the bottom is it? Let's count it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I hope you can see this over here. Um, I've got an E. G, a B, a D, and an F. Now, there is a sentence, a very silly sentence, that uh, one of my students made up a long time ago. Um, and she's currently surfing in Hawaii with her mom and dad and brother. Um, the sentence is, elephants, go bouncing down freeways. Now, would everyone agree that that's silly? I think it's silly. Some of you might be saying, well, if it's a sentence, why did you write it from the bottom up? Well, I'm going to draw an arrow arrows going this way, okay? So each one of these notes starts with a different letter. Elephant starts with E, Go starts with G, Bounce starts with B, Down starts with D, and Freeway starts with F. So I wrote that here on this hand, E, G, B, D, F. Hope you can read that, F. So what you guys should be doing is kinesthetically practicing with your hand, touch your fingers, and say, elephants go bouncing down freeways. Let's do that one more time. Elephants go bouncing down freeways. This time let's count. One, two, three, four, five. All right, I'm going to write a note 
on a line. We're not going to worry about spaces yet. We're going to, oh wait, I think I, I wrote that on there. Okay, so the word space, space rhymes with face, okay? So again, I'm going to write it upside down because we're going from low to high, okay? All right, so we got F A C E, face. All right, so here's another thing I want to practice with you is take your hand and you're going to sweep your fingers in between your fingers and you're going to say one, two, three, four. Just like there's four letters, so we, we counted the four one, two, three, four. Now we're going to say F. A C E. Is that cool with you guys? F A C E. All right. So you guys know how to spell face. I hope you're practicing and spelling along with me. Um, the word face, F A C E, the last letter is the fourth letter. One, two, three, four. So what's the fourth letter in the word face? E, okay? So also see I wrote F-A-C-E, okay? So that should make sense. So let's do a couple more spaces, okay? What's this one? First of all, you should ask yourself, we know it's spaces because I said it's spaces, but which space is it? Is it the first, second, third, or fourth? So you count from the bottom, one, two, this is the second space. The second space in the word face is what? A, very good. All right, so that's, that's spaces. So if I was to write a note here, this would be the third space from the bottom and the third space in from the bottom is the letter C, okay? What's the first space? Well, F starts with, or space starts with F, so this would be F. So I hope that makes sense for spaces. Okay, I'm gonna erase this, because now we're gonna go to spaces. Hope you haven't forgotten how to spell the word face. Let's practice. F-A-C-E, F-A-C-E, you should almost see the word face going up this way. F-A-C-E. Okay. All right, so I want you to know that we're going to now use the sentence again. Let's review the sentence. Touch our fingers. We're going to go, elephants go bouncing down freeways. Okay? It's also a good idea to practice to, to know that it's this, E, G, B, D, F. E, G, B, D, F. Let's do it one more time. E, G, B, D, F. Okay, so now I'm gonna come over here just because the way I was holding my hand might make more sense now. Because this, this is freeways and this is elephants. So right here, I said that the middle was very confusing for me. So why don't we practice with the middle, middle line? The middle line is this one. It's also the middle finger. So grab your middle finger. What is the middle word of this sentence? B, or I'm sorry, bouncing. Bouncing starts with B, good. So that's this letter. B. All right? Here's another one. So see if you can figure it out before I tell you. I'm going to put this one here. All right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to count. One, two, three, four. So it's going to be a fourth finger. It's going to be the fourth word in this sentence. The fourth word in this sentence is down. And down starts with what letter? 
D, good. All right, let's go to the top one. The top one is this one right here. Okay, F, it's this one, F. I'm sorry, I was gonna, fifth, fifth one, fifth finger, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Elephants go bouncing down freeways. Freeway starts with what letter? F, good. Um, elephants, um, elephants, all right? So if you're at home, if I say elephants, which finger is it? Right, it's the first finger, okay? First finger is also the first space, or first line. Hope I got my lines and spaces mixed up. If I accidentally get them confused, I know you're paying attention. I hope I'm not confusing anyone. So the first space is this one. First line, I did it again, my bad. The first line is this one, and that's elephants. An elephant starts with what letter? E, all right? Second line, we haven't done that one. What is the second line? This one right here. The second line is also the second finger. If you practice in saying this with you, you'll, you'll get quicker. Um, the second line is go. All right, good. So I made your lesson this week in two videos. So the next video that you're about to watch is continuing from last week. And I give you the answers. And I'm giving some of the kids a second chance to finish their assignment from two weeks ago, or last, last week. Um, if you haven't watched the three-part video, You Better Sing, I just want you to know that when you get back together with your friends for music class and you don't do it because you think that you're above it or you, I hope you're not afraid to ask questions because I am here for you guys. So you have no reason to not watch these videos. They're cartoons and everyone has liked it. There is a storyline going on behind it. And some of these inside jokes that I make, you won't get unless you watch it. So they're all on your assignment. You can go back and watch them. Um, that's all I got to say. Happy Wednesday.